how to customize payment methods on Shopify. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you an easy way using an app to customize the payment methods on your Shopify checkout. The process is very easy and very simple. Follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. Maybe some of you are going to ask what is the payment method customization in the Shopify store. Simply it is going to be the way of paying the checkout or the bill of your uh, customers of course. So when they are going to head over the checkout for example here I'm going to give them the option. When they click on checkout they are going to see here payment methods. So for example here we are going to only see the customization of the delivery. We have the shipping and pick up in store. But for the payment we do not here have a payment option. So if you are going to enable the payment method for bogus, for example, for testing purposes, you're going to get it as this. For example, you're going to put a Shopify payment as a payment method. Only it will show up here, the Visa, the MasterCard, the uh, Amex paying and etc. But you're not going to give here two choices. So here for the personalization, we're going to put uh, at least here two choices, which are going to be the cash on delivery or the COD and also the payment online or online payment. So how we can do that? We are going to install an application or let's say here an integration called Quickify. So we are going to click on the search bar after we have uh, achieved the access to the admin dashboard. From here, we are going simply to type in on the search bar Quickify Checkout Plus. We're going to search on the Shopify App Store. Then we are going to see here the uh, different uh, apps. Basically we are going to get this Quickify Checkout Customizer. So we are going to get it as this. This is the new nomination of it. So you can go ahead and type in only Quickify Checkout. I'm going to install this app and then we are going simply to see uh, or give the permission first like this. I'm going to give the permission for the installation and then we are going to see the app popping up right there. So we are going to it to our navigation first and then we are going to start customizing the checkout. So here we have the uh, old nomination as you can see I'm going to put it like here. Now what I am going to do here is to uh, go to the customization click on here and then we are going to see it as it is free so it is going to be awesome. Now customize the payment methods and customize the shipping methods. Basically and obviously we're going to select the first one customize the payment methods Now we are going to see it empty and that is a normal because it is the first time that we are going to use the app Now you can go ahead and rename methods hide methods reorder methods, but we are going to click on here and Maybe we are going to add an action and it is going to be here rename methods now so here I'm going to add two methods so here we have some limitation, so take your time uh, seeing it. Now we are going to put the action title, rename payment method action. For example here, use an internal reference only you can see. For example here, standard, for example, so let's name it here COD, OD, uh, or a cash on delivery, for example, cash on delivery. And we are going to name exactly here the uh, select payment method. So we are going to see here the payment method. So we are going to see. So here basically we have the, uh, as you can see, the cash on delivery, which is COD here. Rename, for example, here the same name. I'm going to put it as this. So we are going to put it as here. The condition of it is going to be all rules or any rules pass. So we are going to put here uh, the condition. So it is not going to be the, uh, let's say here the product, but we're going to see here. If the shipping is going to be a city or area of, in for example, we are going to type in here, New York, we are going to put it as this. And also you can go ahead and add another thing. For example, here the condition is going to be like that, or it is going to be containing the Shopify payment and here uh, standard, 
for online, I'm going to put online payments. Payment. And then we are going to give them here. Now, what I'm going to do is to save. And here we are going to let it as it is. So the condition, I think that it is going to be here only for that. So we have added the New York. Now the rename. So I'm going basically to let it as this. So let's go ahead and add these. I'm going to click on here, save. And then we are going to be back here. So we have added the uh, cash on delivery. So I'm going to remove that. So we have set up this. I'm going to put not all the rules, any rule pass. So we are going to put it as this. The location or the city or the area is going to be New York as that, as tag. And I click on save. This is the condition now we are going to be back here add another one so this one is going to be here standard or online pay payment then we are going to choose for example here shopify payment your rename is going to be here online payment as well all rule pass. Yes, I'm going to click on save. So we're going to give basically the choice for the customers. Now here we have two. How can I see this as uh, working or not? So we are going to head over our Shopify store and normally we are going to see it work. And I think this is it. Now here I'm going to head over to my store. Click on the cart. And we are going to here reset the element. I'm going to click on continue shopping. Let's go ahead and add something like this. And then we are going to add it to the cart. Type in checkout. And for the payment, we have this. So as you can see, it's the shipping. This is the shipping for the payment. We are going to set up a payment method. Here I did not have uh, or I did not add a payment method. So we are going to head over the payments. And I'm going to try and activate the Shopify payment. Submit details. Let's see if it is going to be activated in our case. Here we have too much steps. So I'm going to ignore that. And I'm going to add another one, which is going to be bogus uh, here for testing. I'm going to activate it. So here, when you activate third party, it will be activated. So no problem. Here, I'm going to head over the payments and see if Bogus has been activated. So I have a little problem. So we should try to comply with European. So I'm going to put here, so testing. So I have reactivated my Bogus. I'm going to save here the process. And think that we have it here here we have it now I'm going to uh, refresh the checkout and see the payments and normally you are going to get here two options this is the uh, let's say uh, the uh, use use here unfortunately I did not uh, activate my uh, Shopify account uh, for the payments which is going to be Shopify payment because of this, I do not have choices, but this is going to be the case for you if you have activated correctly the method of payments and this is it. So normally you are going to get this case. As you can see, we have payment, the credit cards or the online payment and also the COD and the methods that you have added. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you in the next one.